Hi guys, good morning, Pickerington Area Chamber. Uh, Teresa Byers here. I am so excited to tell you a little bit about our member of the week. We did not get a, um, a Zoom interview with them, but we did an in-person interview. And instead of trying to um, pare down a 20 minute conversation with our fabulous member of the week, I thought I would just jump on here and try to give you guys a quick overview. Um, once again, member of the week program is sponsored by MMA Insurance and Seabert and Reynolds CPAs. We thank them for their continued support of the chamber. Um, our member of the week for June 8th is Capital Fence. So a little bit of history about Capital Fence. I had a great conversation with Robert Halvey, who is one of the owners. Um, fantastic gentleman. Um, we had a great conversation. So Capital Fence was started in 1954, but Robert bought the business in 1980. So he has been running this business for 40 years. Um, he has such a great history. Um, his previous background, he was in finance and insurance, and he was also in the Navy. So just a great person in general. Um, he is a 30 plus year member of the Pickerington Lions Club. Um, just a great, great, great person. We had such a fun um, time chatting and he shared so many great stories with me. So I wanted to tell you guys um, a little bit about their company. Um, one of the things that they have done in shifting to um, new protocols during the coronavirus pandemic, um, they are going to contact list estimates. So uh, a, cu a customer reaches out to them. Um, they use a lot of emails to communicate with their customers and they will go out and do the estimate um, when whenever they can. Um, and they can go at, he can go out at his leisure and do that. Um, he is the one, Robert is the one who does all of the estimates, puts the layouts together, orders the material, um, gets the job ready to be run. They have about four to eight employees, um, depending on the project, obviously. They have a great foreman who runs their jobs and, and helps them to get those employees. Um, one of the challenges that he mentioned that they're facing right now is shortage on equipment um, and the supplies that they need to build the fencing. Um, apparently, um, because of uh, coronavirus, the loggers have been laid off. And so access to um, the actual materials that they use has been very, very difficult. And they've seen a huge increase. In fact, he said there's been seven increases in pricing um, for the product that they are getting to, to provide um, for, their, for their jobs. Um, just a great, a great company, um, such a great conversation. I, I hope you can see my excitement in this. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, one of the things that really sets them apart is their personal service and their personal touch. Um, they are gonna go out and fix whatever issue um, is it, that needs to be done. And you know it could be a year later and your, um, gate has you know uh, worked itself loose or you have a board that has warped or you know something that has happened um, and they are more than happy to come out and, and continue to help. They serve um, the community within a 50 mile radius of Pickerington. Um, previously they were located in the Bexley Whitehall-ish area so um, they have a lot of opportunity um, and a lot of um, customers around the Central Ohio region. Um, and one of the things that Robert shared with me, which I thought was really cool, um, is I asked him, you know, what makes Pickerington and the Columbus region a great place to do business? And he said that diversity of the community is really what makes it a great place. Um, being able to meet with different people, um, different backgrounds, um, his experience in the Navy had him traveling through 22 different countries. Um, he said he's visited 28 states um, in the U.S. and um, just a really, really great opportunity. Um, so the diversity of the community is the thing that makes um, Pickerington and the Columbus region a great place to do business. So just wanted to share you guys a little bit about my interview one-on-one -on -one with Capital Fence, Robert Halvey, the owner. Um, they've been around since 1954. He's been the owner since 1980, and they are our member of the week for June 8th. Once again, want to say congratulations to them. Um, we are so excited to have them as a member. And thank you again to MMA Insurance and Seabert Reynolds for continuing your sponsorship. Everybody have a great week and stay tuned for next week's Member of the Week interview to come out soon. See you guys later.